The NBA was the first to halt play in a sad story this morning from one of its young stars. Timberwolves center Carl Anthony Towns says his mother has been hospitalized for the past week and is dealing with health complications from what he believes to be COVID-19. She's now in a medically induced coma and has been placed on a ventilator. An emotional Towns spoke about his mother in an Instagram video posted Tuesday night in which he urged the public to practice social distancing and treat this pandemic seriously. I think it's important that everyone understands the severity of, of what's happening in the world right now with this coronavirus. I was told early last week my, my, my parents weren't feeling well. My first reaction to her was to go seek medical attention immediately. Uh, there's no reason to wait, you know, just go to the nearest hospital. And um, after a couple of days of not getting um, and showing any signs of improvement, we all assumed the mom had uh, COVID-19 uh, due to just the, the, the symptoms she was exhibiting and she was deteriorating daily. And uh, they said that, you know, she went sideways and things that went sideways quick and her lungs were extremely getting worse and she was having trouble breathing and um, you know they they were just explaining to me that she had to be put on a ventilator she's been in a, in a, in a medically induced coma um, since that day i haven't talked to her haven't been able to obviously communicate with her i've just been getting updates on her condition Practice social distancing. Please don't be in places with a lot of people. Just how is your chances of getting this disease? And this disease is not, it's deadly. My mother, the strongest woman I know, and I know she'll beat this. Again, that was posted last night. We have an update this afternoon. NBA reporter Malika Andrews joins us. Malika, the fight against coronavirus continues to be a cause very close to towns and the Timberwolves organization. What more can you tell us? Yeah, Matt, we just heard Carl say that the symptoms that his mother was exhibiting made him assume that it was coronavirus. So I reached out to the Timberwolves just to confirm that he, she was in fact tested, which she was, and she did test positive for coronavirus. And it's incredibly understandable that Carl Anthony Towns was emotional in that video. He and his mother are incredibly close, as he mentioned. She's the, the leader of the family. And remember, Matt, it was only 10 days ago that while NBA players from around the league were donating to the very worthy cause of making sure that arena workers were getting compensation during these uncertain times, that Carl Anthony Towns donated $100,000 to Mayo Clinic, which works very closely with the Timberwolves. And in his statement at the time, Carl said that he wanted to donate that because the Mayo Clinic is working to fight this virus, to find a cure, to make sure people are able to get tested, to make sure that a vaccine, which right now there is none, uh, could be discovered. And so this was something that was very close to his heart because the Timberwolves have been on the front lines of this. I was speaking to uh, someone within the Timberwolves weeks ago, and he was telling me that at the time they had already been prepping their players long before the league said, you know, we are going to be shutting down games. We might be playing without bands. They were already telling their players to take precautions. And so even back then, the Timberwolves were understanding that just how serious this is. Now, in the extended version of that video, Carl's video was nearly five minutes it's long. He also mentioned that his father was experiencing symptoms, that his father went to get tested as well. And as of right now, there is no news on how his father is doing other than what Carl said is that he was self-isolating and had to be told to quarantine. But now, Matt, we're seeing the full spectrum here. We've seen players say, hey, I have tested positive for coronavirus and I'm not experiencing any symptoms. And now we're seeing the extremely severe side of this.